Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 36th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about the difference between passing values by reference and passing values by value, right? Or passing variables by reference and passing variables by value. So, you know, when you pass something by reference, what you're doing is you're passing the object itself. And when you're passing something by value, what you're doing is you're creating a copy of that, you know, object or the variable and you're passing the copy to the function. So, you know, Whereas when you pass something by reference, any change that you make to the variable inside the function, you know, those changes are reflected to the outside value as well. Whereas, you know, if you pass something by value, then the changes that you make, you know, to the function, uh, you know, copy of the variable, you know, those changes are not reflected back to the calling function, right? So I guess all of this will be clear if I demonstrate, you know, the concept through an example, right? So that's what we're going to do now. And, uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a dictionary called employee and uh, in the dictionary I'm going to have uh, you know names of employees as keys and their IDs as values right so let's say I have three employees in an organization and uh, the name of the first one is Alex and let's say the ID of Alex is 1500 and let's say the name of the second employee is uh, John and the ID of John is uh, 1200 and let's say the th name of the third employee is uh, Peter and the ID of Peter is uh, 1400, right? And uh, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the DEF keyword and create a function called test that takes this uh, dictionary employee as uh, an argument, right? And uh, I'll put in a colon, get inside the function's body. Now, let's say two more employees have uh, joined the organization and I have the details of these two employees in another dictionary called new and uh, you know i'll create it and let's say the name of the first employee is buck and the id of buck is uh, 2000 right and uh, the name of the second employee is stan and the id of stan is uh, 4000 right and uh, you know let me update the employee dictionary because you know these two employees are new entrants to the organization so obviously the employee dictionary would have to be updated and we're going to use the update dictionary function to update the employee dictionary i'll type in employee dot update and then within parentheses i'll pass in the name of the dictionary that has the new values and which in this case is new and uh, next i'm going to use a print function to display the value of the employee dictionary from within the function right so inside the function the function the employee dictionary is this and i'm going to type in the return keyword get outside the function body and then simply call the function by typing in test and as an argument to it i have to pass the employee dictionary that that i created outside the function and uh, on the next line i'm going to use the print statement to display the contents of the dictionary from outside the function right so outside the function and uh, I'll put in a colon here and then employee, right? I'll save the file and run it. And uh, there we go. We see that inside the function, I have John, Alex, Buck, Peter, and Stan. And outside the function also, I have John, Alex, Buck, Peter, and Stan. And this is despite the fact that, you know, outside the function, the employee dictionary had only three values. It only had Alex, John, and Peter. But since we changed this dictionary inside the test function, you know, these changes have been re reflected outside the test function as well. So, you know, this proves the fact that in Python, you know, variables are passed by reference and not by value. Now, if suppose, you know, I get rid of this statement, you know, I don't change uh, the uh, employee dictionary this way. And, you know, if I change it this way, as in, you know, if I make uh, a new employee object inside my test function, and if I let the other employee object outside the test function be as is, I'll save the file now. And when I run the program, I see that inside the function, you know, I have Stan and Buck as the only two employees in the organization. And outside the function, I have John, Alex, and Peter. So the values outside are the same as the values with which I created the dictionary originally, right? So what has happened here is that inside the test function, I am not using the employee object that was passed to the function, you know, instead I've created a new employee object and I've assigned it new values, right? So this is a new dictionary and this is different from the dictionary that was passed to the function. So this is a local variable and you know, the one that 
we used in the other case that was a global variable and we're going to talk about local and global variables in a couple of tutorials but for the time being i just wanted to tell you guys that in python whatever va values you pass to your functions you know those values are the actual objects that are passed right so i hope you guys have now understood the difference between calling by reference and calling by value and also you know how things work in python and uh, i'll see you in the next video in which we'll discuss something interesting again and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already till then take care